The use of buffers and fuzz pedals is a much talked about topic in the pedal world. And this is because it can realistically make or break your vintage fuzz tones and it's often easily overlooked or approached wrong, let's say. But what if we ignore those rules? What happens if we do use a buffer before our vintage germanium fuzz? Is there an undiscovered realm of great fuzz tones out there? I don't know, but we're going to give it a go in this video and I think we're going to have some fun. Hey guys, welcome back to Ditswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and some of you may have noticed from recent videos that I've been experimenting a lot with my signal chain, my pedal order, and doing things and putting things in slightly different places than what we may be used to. It was during one of these experiments that I came across a really crazy cool fuzz tone. I looked down at my feet and it's not immediately obvious what's different. After having a route around, getting on my hands and knees and seeing what's going on, I found out that the switch on the top of my tuner, which is a buffer switch, has been switched on. And that buffer going into the fuzz face has drastically changed the tone. What is going on here? The pedal gurus of this world have told me to avoid this combination at all costs. Never put a buffer before your vintage germanium fuzz. But why does it sound so good? Let's have a quick talk about the science behind all of this and why a fuzz pedal reacts differently when it's got a buffer in front of it. I'll break it down really quick because I know you've probably heard this before and I'm not the best person to explain it but I'll do my best. It all comes down to impedance, low and high impedance. The signal coming from your guitar down a cable is essentially low impedance and now this is what most vintage fuzzers want to see, especially when they're germanium transistors. They're much more sensitive to what's in front of them and what's kind of feeding them the signal in a way. Now a buffer's job is to change that low impedance to high impedance. This helps drive longer cable runs for example and also if you've got a really big pedal board it helps you losing from any high end by the time you get to your uh, amp. Now if you have a buffer changing your low impedance to high impedance before your fuzz that all that fuzz is seeing is the high impedance signal and this drastically changes the character of the fuzz. Some people won't like it but some people will and I think the best way for us to have a look at that now is to have a quick demonstration. Here I have a Boss Wazza Chromatic Tuner. I've picked this one because it's got a switchable buffer. When the buffer's off it's completely drew, true bypass so this really helps. Uh, then we're going straight into the Spruce Etch Series Fuzz Face which is a classic very vintage correct sort of germanium fuzz face. I think just to prove that the true bypass in the tuner is not affecting the fuzz, I'll go straight into the fuzz first just to show you that. <laughs> Cool, sounds like a great fuzz face to me. Let's ugh, let's go into the tuner with the buffer bypass. So it's completely Drew bypass pedal. Sounds identical to me. And it sounds like a great fuzz face, you know, no problems here. Now, what happened when I was messing around with my pedal board before is that this little switch on the top of the tuner was engaged. It turns the buffer on the tuner on, basically. And I was struck by this sound. Thank you. 
safe to say that that fuzz face does not sound like a fuzz face anymore. But in my opinion, that is in no way a bad sound. In fact, I think that sounds pretty awesome. That high impedance signal going into the fuzz face completely changes it. It's got a more Velcro gated fizzy fuzzy feel to it. I think what I'll do now is I'll do some playing and you'll see me switch the buffer on and off on the tuner just so you can get a quick AB. We'll start with the buffer off. I think it's safe to say that that isn't a bad sound at all. In fact, I think it's pretty cool. I can totally imagine a dual pedal, fuzz face on the left or some other vintage type fuzz, and a switchable buffer on the right, just to get both options if you want them, because I love both sounds. Like I said, this is not a bad sound at all. Why are we told to avoid this? I guess it's because it does completely change the characteristic of the fuzz. You know, like I said, this fuzz face does not sound like a fuzz face once you put a buffer in front of it. Just sounds like a different type of fuzz. It's in no way damaging the fuzz pedal to have a buffer in front of it. It just really is, it's just not feeding it the signal that it wants to see. So I recommend you guys give it a try. See if you like the tones. It's not going to work with every fuzz pedal and it's probably not going to work with every buffer. I've got quite a few vintage style fuzzes that are just not as sensitive as this one is. I think that's due to a few things. This is quite a vintage correct circuit, I guess, but it's also got quite sensitive germanium transistors. But really, give it a go. See what you've got in your signal chain that's got a buffer. See what you've got in your signal chain that could react differently. And who knows? That new tone may inspire you to write the next huge Christmas number one. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and maybe check out some more. If you want to support me and the channel further, there are some links below like Patreon and things like that. Would really appreciate the extra support and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.